Welcome to QValidation.com. So in our Java for QA series, the next topic is uh, Java Editor. So we will use Eclipse as a Java Editor. Okay. So let's see few of the benefits of Java Editor that is Eclipse. It is free to use, widely used editor across all the Java programmers. Okay. And auto completion, it means that uh, it gives you auto suggestions uh, or else it gives you kind of uh, errors if you do any kind of mistakes. And uh, it has a very good syntax highlighting. So it will give you the text in different colors so that you can identify your code and easy integration with other tools so uh, you will come to know in our coming video series so in there uh, how Eclipse can be uh, integrated with the different uh, tools that will make your Java code more flexible like your Maven or else TestNG that is one of the unit testing framework all those things you can easily integrate with Eclipse and uh, another important thing is that uh, Eclipse is uh, available across multi-platform that is you can download and install in windows even in macintosh operating system and linux as well okay so as uh, we have seen that java is platform independent so you can use the java code uh, in a any platform okay the same way you can use the eclipse but they will have each os will have their own versions of the eclipse tool so you have to download the eclipse specific to your operating system okay so here is the download link from where you can download the eclipse okay so let me open one of the uh, browser and uh, so here the, just say eclipse download and then it will give you one link just click on this so here you can see uh, the uh, eclipse that is oxygen we call it the package and uh, here you can see there are um, some links that is one of the link is that download packages so if you click on this uh, so it gives you uh, eclipse will give you different versions of the eclipse which will be uh, what you call um, acquainting with different level of the programmers so, so like if you are a java ee pro developer so you can use this one if you are a java developer then you can use so uh, and they have different for php if you are a php developer you can still use eclipse so eclipse is not only a java editor but uh, you can even execute and you can write code in uh, python okay as well even in javascript as well so but for now we are interested in eclipse ide for java developer okay so as i am using mac into operating system so the eclipse is auto identified with mac os x if you have any other version let, let's say any other platform let's say windows or linux you can select here windows or linux and then you can download so you have to use the eclipse ide for java developer so once you click on this you will get a file uh, kind of a zip file if you it is a windows then you will get a dot exe file if it is mac dot dmg file if it is linux then dot tar file then once you download that and double click it it will install as usual way so once you install the eclipse then you can open the eclipse so i have already installed so let me open the eclipse okay so here is how the eclipse looks like okay and so as you can see here uh, so this is my package explorer this side is package explorer and this is my code pan and uh, i'll show you how to see the output and all those things okay so first thing first let's create a new project in eclipse okay so if you are in macintosh you will see file new okay java project either if you are in any other operating system then you can just right click here on this left pan and click on new and then java project okay so we'll see a dialog um, like a startup dialog where you have to give your project name so let's say test java and it says that use default location so what it means is that where exactly your project should reside on your local drive so it directly picked up a default location if you want to 
put your project in some other location then just uncheck this and browse to your location okay i'm seeing a default location here and the rest thing you can leave as it is and say finish so here is the package explorer for your test and GRE system library you need not to worry about that depending on your JDK you installed so as in our previous video I have shown you that I have installed the Java version 1.8 so it picked up all the required jar files that is required to run your code okay so you can leave as it is okay so test Java is my project okay these are some supporting library or the jar files and then src is the folder so it's basically the starting of your uh, project okay so here we have to create a code structure right so today i'm going to show you a sample java code okay how it should look like and how to run the java okay and uh, yeah uh, you can even run the java by using any of the text editor let's say uh, if you are using windows then you can use uh, your notepad uh, as a java editor okay because um, in in our previous video i have shown that um, the extension should be dot java and once you compile it it will go to dot class file so here eclipse we are just using to make our uh, Java coding uh, quite flexible and uh, user friendly so that we need not to remind every time or recall all the functions or the methods that are available so that Eclipse will give you all those things so that is what one of the good thing which I shown you uh, earlier that it's a auto completion or auto suggestion is quite good in Eclipse okay so here what you can do new and so we created a new java project the next thing is that you have to create a package this is optional but it is recommended to use okay so just create a package and to create a package normally the java uh, says that the name should be in small letters okay so i can say my package uh, so all should be small letter uh, and even you can use uh, my package.com or something you can give the finish and once you created your package then the next thing is that you have to create a class okay and so i will say my class and the class name should start with a capital letter okay and here i'm checking this checkbox uh, please note uh, the public static void main okay so what exactly is this if you are familiar with uh, c programming um, then you should have a main method from where your uh, control or your execution should start okay so i'm checking this box so once you click on finish so as our selection whatever we selected as per that it will create a template you can see here one of the default templates see package we selected my package okay and class my class so this class and this file name is same you can see here i didn't give you a dot java file but it automatically created because we right click on this and create a new class as is is a as this is a java project so uh, the class uh, name should be uh, the class names uh, format should be extension should be dot java okay and uh, as you would have observed that i have checked the public static void main so due to that it created this template uh, template as well so if you are not uh, checking that checkbox then you have to type it manually okay and uh, you can see this text uh, this to do auto generated method stub this is nothing but a one line comment so let's say while you are writing a java code so currently we are seeing a blank template but when you uh, keep on writing your project and making a big frameworks you need to write some kind of details about your methods or what is exactly that your code is meant for if you want to write kind of a nodes then you have to write a few command uh, comments okay and these comments should not execute by java so to tell the java that do not execute a particular line you have to give two slash here at the beginning of that line so that the java can ignore that 
okay so this is one line comment so if you let's say that you have multi line comments okay because maybe your comment will not finish in one line you might need to write a paragraph so at that moment slash then star okay then you can just write this is a multi line comment okay so like this you can write so uh, even in this scenario as well the java will e okay so now here we will try to execute this java program but to execute we need to write something right so what we will do we will print something okay so here is one uh, sorry it's s y s o so to print a uh, what you call a statement in java into your console output or your, your normal output it is system dot out dot print ln okay and whatever you write inside this it will that particular string will be printing into your output so that output we call it as a console output okay so we will say hello world okay now save it okay so let me rearrange this okay okay now how to run this java code so right click on this pan and here you can see run edge java application okay so once you click on this so you can see the console window now appears okay <coughs> <coughs> So in this console window, you will see that a string output is hello world. So whatever you write under this system.out.println into the double quote. So this is nothing but whatever the statement you will print, you will put inside this double quote should be coming as an output here. Okay. So let's see where exactly this project is residing. So open your uh, what you call folder structure and then go to here and i have kept under this okay so here you can see that one okay test java i have created okay so now here so here is my source uh, source file okay so under that my package and my class my class dot java now what is so once you run that particular project then we already know what is happening if you once run your code then the java compiler will convert your dot java file into dot class file so now that dot class file should be residing under your bin okay so how is the folder structure on uh, under source so your project then src folder after that your package and then the file the same way it will replicate in the bin folder as well so under bin your package and here you can see my class dot class now this will be converted into your machine level language by using your respective os java virtual machine so from here onwards the java virtual machine will convert this dot class file into its own understanding language or with respect to the os okay so that's all about eclipse um, stay tuned with our next uh, video series where we will uh, come to know more about the java okay thanks for watching